God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your hearts, your minds, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. We would like to invite you to watch us every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. and to listen to our evening service every Sunday on WUBS 89.7 at 6.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in yeah, South Bend, yeah. Indiana. We also have a Sunday School conference call line every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis. The telephone number is 605-313-5142, and the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you are not able to tune in at this time, you can call the playback number, which is 605-313-5153, using the same access code. If your phone carrier charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716-293-9720, and then redial the 605 number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. Now we will have prayer rendered by Brother Tyler Banks. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Precious God, we come to you in the name of Jesus, asking you to bless us, Lord. We thank you for another day, Lord. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord, being able to come and assemble ourselves together to praise you, to glorify you, to magnify you, O oh God, because you're worthy, O oh Lord. You're worthy of our praise, O oh God. Now, Lord, we ask that you bless your word today, Lord. Bless your speaker, Lord. Let your word go out and accomplish what it will, O oh God, that it not come back void, Lord, that it break yokes today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Deliver reclaim the backsliders Lord in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray thank God amen scripture brother Jeremiah Frazier I'll be reading for your hearing first John chapter 2 verse 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him may god add a blessing to the reading to the hearing and the obeying of his holy word yeah. amen. Yeah. amen amen we would like to formally invite you to the Old Landmark Churches of God Diocese 5 9th in July telephone conference happening this week happening from July 14th to the 18th, 2021. Services are held every night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to join in on this conference, you can dial 712-770-4160 and then the access code 332648-POUND. For a recorded playback, dial 712-770-4169. And if you have T-Mobile or Metro PCS, you want to dial uh, 425 535 9125 and the access code. The theme for this year will be yet standing on the word of God. Come out and be blessed. Amen. Amen. And now we will have words of life coming from our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. They said I wouldn't make it They said I wouldn't be here today They said I'd never amount to anything Listen to this But I'm glad to say 
that song. I will never let go his hand. Yeah. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. I'll never let go his hand. Amen. That's a good song. Especially when you're going through some things and the devil is coming against you. Amen. Like a flood. Like a mighty flood. 
but we can still stand in these last and evil days. How many know I'm right? Amen. Amen. You don't have to give up on God. You don't have to throw in the towel. You don't have to say, what's the use? Amen. I can't do it. No, you can't do it by yourself. But that's why you call on God. And somebody say, he will answer prayer. Give God a victory hand praise. Yeah, I will never let go his hands. Because you can rest assured, amen, that God will keep you in his hands as long as you want to be kept in his hands. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. I told you this thing's got to go two ways. Amen. You got to want God to keep you. Amen. You want to, you got to want to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Working in your life. It's been over some 40 some years and I'm still hanging in there. Amen. I had some ups and downs. Amen. I got some ups and downs now. I got some problems now, but I'm still holding on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Somebody said, me no give up Jesus. Amen. Because these are the last days. People are jumping out of God and jumping out of God's hands. And some of them are dying right after they get out of jumping out of God's hand. Amen. But you know what? I got to make it. Somebody said, I got to make it. I must make it. And I shall make it. I shall make it. Amen. Oh, my God. I feel that in my spirit. I got to make it. I got to get to heaven. Amen. I got to. I got to get there. Amen. That's a that's an urge for, for being in the presence of God. Amen. And don't you know that you can be in the presence of God even down here? Right now in service, we under the presence of God. We in the presence of God now in this service. Glorifying and magnifying God. I love being in God's presence. And you know when you can feel the when you know you know that you're in God's presence when you feel the presence of God. Amen. But let me just say this too, because you might not always feel that 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 joy and, and that that you know want to run and jump like that, but you still in his presence. Because he said he'll never leave you. Never did y'all hear that? Y'all don't act like y'all need one church day. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. But God is good. Amen. And he's been better to me than I've been to myself. How about you? Amen. 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 I will never let go his hand. And you got to mean it from, the, from your heart. It's got to be down deep inside of you. Because I always say you're going to be tested and you're going to be tried. Amen. There's a lot of things before people put stuff out there in the streets to sell. They try it first. They test it, amen. They test different things and see how long it's going to last. That's why they be able to tell you this will last forever, amen, because they tested and tried. I know God can keep me because I was tested. I was tested and I was tried. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen, but you can try God. Amen, as long as you don't be, <laughs> as long as you don't be uh, dishonoring him. Amen, but you can try God. Say, God, I know you can do it. And I believe you can do it. I believe right now. That you can make the way out of no way. How many know he can make ways out of no way? When you couldn't find no way, when you didn't see no way, God saw the way. Oh, y'all better come over with me now. If you all ever been there, God knows how to open up doors that no man can shut. And he know how to shut doors that no man can open. Oh, y'all better come on now. Because when you're disobedient, God will shut the door on you. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all better come on. And he'll open it when he get ready. Uh-oh, that's another message altogether. Uh, what door are you going to go through? Amen. Amen. But God is good. You know, I always get excited about God. Do you hear what I'm saying? When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah! Thank God for saving me. I'm, happy, I'm glad I'm saved. I, you know, I'm not miserable, not one bit. Amen. Amen. I might not like the trials and the tests, but I still love God. Amen. And, and it's for our working. It's for our making when we go through. Because God is testing us. Amen. God is trying us to see what we're going to do. Because talk is cheap. Yes, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes, talk is cheap. Yes, Thanks, I'm going to make it to the end. But see, yeah. Man, it's got to be deep down in you. Yes, 
Amen. But I got a little something, something for you today. Amen. Amen. God is good. I, you know, I am what I am by the grace of God. I remember how I was years ago. Amen. When I was young. Amen. Couldn't I, I could have, but I didn't. In and out of church, in and out of church, in and out of church. But amen, when I found it, made up my mind that I wanted to be saved and serve God, amen, God bless me. I mean, God bless me. And then he brought me into the ministry and he continually blessed me. Amen. amen. You know why? Because I'm continually seeking God and holding on to God. I got a little subject for you today. I think I brought part one some time ago. And uh, maybe you never heard this one, but I also was on another program and I brought this uh, message on the one of the uh, conference lines. And I want to try to bring it for you today, so pray for me while I bring it forth. And the subject is following God's instructions still works. Following God's instruction mm -hmm. works. Amen. There's nothing about God that he tells us to do that it won't work Amen. in your behalf. Uh, are y'all with me or am I by myself? Amen. I'm going to say that again. There's nothing that God instructs us to do that is not going to work in our favor. Amen. Amen. Following God's instruction still it's works. Still Somebody say it still works. It still works. It still works. Amen. Amen. It's not like a battery that it runs out. Amen. You can cut the lights off, but God still works. You can't cut God off. <laughs> uh, the only way you can cut God off is you just step out of God. Amen. But following God's instructions, somebody said, still works. I, I know it works for me. How about you? Do, do it still works for you? Amen. Because we know what to do when, it, when, it don't, when things don't work. We get rid of what's, what's hindering it, right? Amen. The, the battery's getting low and it's not working. You put a new battery in it. Huh? Amen. There's something not happening in your favor the way God wants you to do it. Amen. Then you need another battery. Amen. <laughs> and then you need to replace something. Amen. Because God still works. Don't blame it on God. Amen. Because you, you know you slowful. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Don't blame it on God. Amen. Your battery then went down. Amen. You didn't unplug yourself. Uh oh, uh oh. You didn't unplug yourself from God. Amen. That's why it's not working. Amen. But if you want it to work, you got to keep yourself plugged in. Am I right about it? You got to keep that battery going. Amen. You, you know, like an energizer, energizer buddy, he just keeps on going, keeps on going. You got to keep on going. Amen. Following God's instruction works. <laughs> I'm a living witness. It works. Yes, I've been saved over 40 something years, so it works. it works. You can stay saved. Yes, you can. Trust me, you yes, can stay saved. Amen. And you can get saved. Yes, it works. Yes. But you got to follow God's instructions. Yes, yes. Amen. You want to be saved, you got to do it exactly the way God told you to do it. Amen. You got to repent of your sins, yes. and you got to be willing to give up your sins, yes. and God will change you. Yes, it works. Yes. Somebody say, it works. It works. Amen. Amen. You don't have to murmur. You don't have to complain about, you know, whether God's going to do it, if he's going to do it. Amen. You just got to have faith in God and believe in God and believe that God will do it and shall do it. Amen. If you depend on God and if you put it in God's hands, it works. Ooh, I feel that in my spirit. Woo! <laughs> well, it ain't working for me. You ain't doing something right. Are you obeying God? Are you following God's instructions to the letter? Do you hear what I'm saying? Well, I'm doing this, but I left this. Oh, God, feed me, God. I'm, God, I'm doing this, but I ain't doing that. Amen. You got to eat the whole roll. You got to do everything that God wants you to do. How many of you all trying to put some kind of furniture and stuff together and things you do, that you bought, wanted to put together, and the instruction was in the box? Amen. And you looked at the instructions, and it told you step by step what to do. And sometimes if it don't work, you done left something out. 
Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Sometimes you get frustrated because, hey, amen, it looks like it is not going to work. But if you do it exactly like they tell you to do in the, in the instructions, it will work. Same way with God. Amen. If you follow God's word, if you follow God's Bible, amen, it's going to work. No, I believe that. I'm just, hey. Thank you, sir. It's got to work. And even if you don't understand it, keep looking at him. Sometimes me and the family, we, 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 we be trying to put stuff together. We're going, both of us be discombobulated. We're going, what well, they told us to do that. This don't make no sense. That's because we don't understand. Amen. Sometimes we try to MacGyver it. Amen. <laughs> try to do it on our own. And it's still, but when we end up doing exactly the way, amen, it, it works out. Same way with God. You, you can't do things on your own, amen. amen, without instructing God. I mean, without God instructing you. Amen. Especially if you want to be saved. Amen. Especially if you want to make it. Right. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Naturally, you know, people like that. Well, you know what? I got this. They think they got so much wisdom and understanding. They're like, I don't, I don't need no instructions. You find out. After you, after you've spent four or five hours and ten days to get something together, you know, then you ask, "Where's the book?" Right, right. How many of y'all did that? Amen. How many of you called people and said, "What did you tell me to do again?" See, I didn't think you knew what you were talking about. Now I'm in trouble. See, if you had to follow instructions, you wouldn't be in trouble. If you follow God's instructions, you ain't got to worry about Amen backsliding. Oh, if you listen to the preacher, you ain't got to worry about backsliding. Oh, come on with me now. Don't you know that we cannot go wrong when we allow God to lead us and guide us? God ain't going to, God, look, God not going to intentionally lead you down the wrong, 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 wrong path. Or down the wrong road. Am I right about it? Some people will mislead you, but God will not mislead you. God ain't gonna try to fool you. The devil will. And the God, the devil will try to speak like he's God. Right. Sometimes you might think that's God and ain't God, that's the devil. And sometimes he'll use good things, amen, to talk into your ear to mislead you. But that's why you gotta go to God. God, is this you? Confirm it. I like confirmation. Somebody say confirmation. Confirmation. It's good to get confirmation. And I ain't talking about from the sinner neither. I'm talking about from God and from God's saints. I'm talking about real saints. I'm going to read this again. We cannot go wrong when we allow God to lead and guide us in the direction that he. Somebody say he. That he wants us to go. God, however you want me to go, I'll do it. Are you really, really for real? God, I don't care. But however you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. So he tell you, go down that road. And there's trouble on that road. God, why that road? Because that's the way God wants you to go. Because he's trying to strengthen you. He's trying to, he's trying to mold you and guide you. You got to learn how to take something. You got to learn how to go through something. Everything ain't going to be peaches and cream. How many of those? They ain't gonna always be pictures and creeds. Sometimes you gotta go down trouble road. Yes, sir. Oh, come on now. You gotta go down bumpy road. Yes. You gotta go down disgusting road. But God will bring you out. I, I brought a message one day that, that it's a light at the end of the tunnel. Y'all remember that message? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes when you're looking through where the train be going through, all you see is darkness. And you can't hardly see what's going on down there. And then after a while, you begin to get happy because you begin to see light. Do you hear what I'm saying? Sometimes when we're going through something, you can see nothing but darkness. But after a while, if you keep holding on, God will show you the light. You begin to see the light. First it gets small, then it gets bigger, and then it gets bigger. Next thing you know, you, you smile it. I see it now. I see it now. It's because you follow God's instruction and you stayed on the road, the right road that God has given you. What did I say? We cannot go wrong when we allow God to lead and guide us in the direction that he wants us to go or the path that we need to take. Amen? Amen. 
I believe it was Job said that God know the path that I take. God knew the path. God knew why, Matt, why Job was going through what he was going through. He didn't know. He had back-to-back -back trouble. Hey, but he didn't give up God. He just kept praying to God. He got discombobulated. He got aggravated. He got frustrated. Amen. And, and, and even his wife told him, why don't you curse God and, and die? You know, that's the only way you can get him. Amen. But he said, you talk like a foolish woman. Amen. Sometimes when people come to you, amen, with misinstruction, tell you talk like a foolish man. All right. All right. Especially when it's against God. Yes. You talk like a fool. You got to stand up for yourself. Amen. I got to make it. I got to do what God told me to do. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. I don't know how many times I had to tell God told me what to do. Amen. This is what God told me. You can't, I will not let you mislead me. Yes, That's sir. what you got to do. And you ain't got to have a nasty attitude. No, no, no. No. Just say, hey, you know what? I know what God told me to do. And then God confirmed it. Amen. Because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Following or follow is to engage. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. To engage, that means you're not standing still, but you're doing something. Mm -hmm. So when you're following somebody, you're engaging in something. Yes. Amen? Amen? You're not standing still. It says to engage as a, to engage in as a calling or a way of life. Mm -hmm. It says to pursue. That means to go after. So you got to go after whatever God wants you to do. You got to find yourself doing it. You got to find yourself going after pleasing God. Whatever God, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do exactly what. It's amazing how people, when you tell them, say, you know what? You can go down there and they'll give you $1,000. All you have to do is do such and such. They give you the instructions. Yeah. Amen. And you'd be glad to go because it's for the flesh. I'm going to do this, and you are following instructions to the letter because it's, at the end, you know it's going to be $1,000. Right. right. Come on. Oh, Y'all better come on with me now. Amen. But you will never get it if you don't follow the instructions. Amen. If you don't get busy. Come on. Oh, y'all better hear me now. It's quiet, but hey, it's still, right. it's still right. It says to be or act in accordance with. To accept as authority and obey. Just follow instructions. In other words, just obey. Amen. Don't be like, God, are you sure that this is what you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with asking God, God, uh, you know, because you the one really not sure. Amen. But we want to hear from God. Are you really sure? Don't you know God to confirm it? Yes, Come on. Amen. But once he confirms it, you got to find yourself doing it. Because sometimes it's not, it's not so... Uh, good to just jump on things as soon as right, you hear it. Right, that's right, that's you got to let God confirm, especially if it's going to affect your spiritual life. Amen, amen. And sometimes your natural life. Amen. Instructions is a direction or order. Is this, is, this is what God is directing us with. Amen. amen. Let me get this right. Quick. This is our instruction book. This is what directs us Amen. in order for us to get to heaven. This got everything in the book that you need to know yes. in order to solve your problems. Amen. How many know I'm right? Amen. From the Old Testament yes. to the New Testament. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Whatever was written before time was written for our learning. Amen. And also in the Bible, it shows you where those, amen, didn't follow instructions and what happened. Come on now. Amen. Amen. And those that did follow instructions were blessed. Amen, amen. And those that didn't were cursed or God killed them. All right. amen. Oh, come on with me now. It's in the, word. It's in the book. Yes, yes, it is. Oh my God, you got to follow instructions. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm still going, I've got to go back to the natural. Now, if you told, if the, the if somebody told you, say, you know what, don't leave this gas on because if you do, it'll blow up. You got to follow instructions. So this is what you got to do. You got to take this. You got to turn it that way and turn it that way. If you don't do exactly what they told you to do to keep that gas from leaking, you can kill yourself. Oh, yes. Amen. You got to do things exactly the way God told you to do it and not tweet it. Amen. Amen. Am, I, am I right about it? Amen. A direction or order 
detailed information telling how something should be done, operated, or assembled, <laughs> put together. Let's put this together now. You want to stay together, God? You, you want to put this together? You want to stay with God? You got to do it God's way. Amen. Amen. I already went past when, when you buy certain things, what you do, you got to look at the book. I already went through that. Amen. Some things about following God's instruction, it may not work since it was God. Let me see this. Let me see. Let me see if I can read this right now. Some things about following God's instruction, it might not make sense. I mean, you know I'm right. Amen. Even some people tell you, that don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Not to you. Amen. Not to your flesh. Right. That's why you got to look at God at the, in the spirit. Because yes. in the flesh, it'll blind you. Yes. It don't want you to understand. It don't want you to see. Flesh won't understand. You know why? Because flesh want to do what it wants to do. Right. It may not make sense in what God is instructing you to do, but I dare you. To pray about it. Focus on what God. That's what you got to do. Amen. You got to focus on what God called you to do. Amen. You'll find yourself coming out victorious. Yes, hallelujah. You'll find it that it works out for you. Amen. Let's read the scripture here. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 10. You want to be blessed and highly favored of God? Follow God's instruction. Amen. Amen. You want Amen. those? You want those years of forty some years of being saved? Follow God's instruction. <laughs> Follow the man of God that say instructions. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Vangel. Excuse me. And it shall come to pass yes, yes. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God yeah. to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day mm -hmm. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Yeah, that's, that's being blessed. That's what Amen. God promised. Yeah. Read that again. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently, diligently. unto the voice uh -huh. of diligently. the Lord. Uh -huh. Unto the voice of the Lord. Uh-huh. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day mm -hmm. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. How many want to be blessed? Amen. You want to be blessed? Oh yes, oh yes. This is what you got to do. You got to obey God's commandments. You got to follow instructions. Come on. Ain't that instruction? Amen. Go ahead. And all these blessings shall come on thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, who was he talking to? Israel. Israel, amen. This is how you're going to be blessed. Right. If you can keep my commandments. Amen. But there's another side of, of that too. But we're going this way. Go ahead. Blessed shalt thou be in the city. Blessed in the city. And blessed shalt thou be in the field. In the field. I don't care where you at, where you go. You're going to be blessed if you follow God's Amen. instructions. Amen. Uh -huh. Blessed shalt thou be, I'm sorry, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body yes. and yes. the fruit of thy ground yes. and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and yes. the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Yes. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. Now let's go back a little bit, because, you know, I've been trying Come to do on. some things, but I'm okay now. Go ahead. Go back to where you started. Bless, bless number three, verse, verse three. We're going to go through this. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, yes. and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Uh -huh. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, uh -huh. and the fruit of thy ground, uh -huh. and the fruit of thy cattle, uh -huh. and the and the increase of thy kind, yes. and the flocks of thy sheep. Yes. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. You see what God told them? This is what God promised them. If you follow instructions, keep my commandments, I will bless you with all these things. Amen. God do not make a promise and do not fulfill that. All right now. But you got to obey God. Amen. 
Somebody say, obey God. Obey, obey God. God. Look at this. Say this. I got to obey God. I've got to obey God. This is a personal thing. Amen. Go ahead. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, mm -hmm. and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. You see what God promised? Go ahead. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. Uh -huh. They shall come out against thee one way mm -hmm. and flee before thee seven ways. How many of God? How many of y'all know that God will fight your enemies yes, for you? Will. Yes, He will. Sometimes you won't even have to fight. Amen. You can stand still Amen. to see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, God yes, will do yes. it. Yes. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Uh huh. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses mm -hmm. and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. A holy people. Amen. How many of y'all are holy in here? Amen, amen. Yes. Establish thee a holy people. When you keep God's commandments and walk in God's word, amen, he'll establish you as a holy person. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As he has sworn unto thee, mm -hmm. if thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God and, what? and walk in his ways, uh -huh. and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and mm -hmm. they shall be afraid of thee. They shall be afraid of thee. Amen. Them back there, them, 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 oh, them, yeah. them uh, war, uh, other nations. When they saw that they were being blessed, they stepped back. Yes, they did. When they saw oh, that yes, the power of God was upon them, they stepped back. Amen. Sometimes people will step back. Don't mess with that sister. Right, right. She's blessed by God. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Because they see what God is doing for yes, you. Yes, amen. Amen. Come on with me, somebody. Glory to God. I'm telling you. Amen. Following instruction still works. It still works. Amen. Amen. It worked back then. Yes. It works now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is the same today <laughs> as he was yesterday. Yesterday. And he will Never ever be. More. Amen. Even more. Oh, oh glory to God. Amen. Somebody Amen. give God a victory hand. Yes, break. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's in the word. Yes, Following God's instructions. And when they disobeyed yes, God, God told them what he'll do too. Yes. Yes, he did. Uh, he was true to his word. But Amen. if you do not, then I will do this. Amen. That's in the same book. Do yes, the Romans. Same chapter. Because he don't never give you the positive and don't give you the negative Amen. too. Amen. Amen. You want to grow in God? Why I ain't growing? Why are, you, are you following instructions? Right. Hey, Amen. Why is this happening? Are you following instructions? Come on. Oh, it's quiet. Come on now. <laughs> but it's right. Amen. Jeremiah 10, 23. What do it say? Oh, Lord, mm -hmm. I know that the way of man is not in himself. The way of man is not, it's not about how I do it. Amen. It's not in me. The way of man is not in himself. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is not in man that walketh to direct his step. <laughs> It's not in man that direct. God don't want you to Come direct on. your own steps. Come on now. It's not in you. It's, Come on now. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. I know the way that man is not in himself. It's not in. It's, it's not the way you want it. Right. It's not the way you want to do it. Amen. Or how you want to go. It, 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 Jeremiah said it's not in the way of himself. Amen. Not in the man that walketh in direct in his steps. Right. This is the way I want to do it. Uh -huh. Attitude. See. Why I got to do it like that? How come I can't do it like this? And how come and how come? Just follow instructions Amen. if you want to be blessed of God Amen. and highly favored of God. Amen. Amen. It ain't about you. Come on. Come on. Amen. It's not about you. Somebody says it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about God. Amen. What I feel like. See, you need oh, to put on. that feel like on the rock. Yes. Yes, it's not about what you feel like, but it's what God wants you to do. Yes. God ain't, God, God ain't here to hurt us. No, he's not. No, he's not. He wants you to get to heaven. Amen. He wants you to be saved. Come on now. He wants you to stand still. Hallelujah. He wants you to be blessed. Yes. Ain't that amazing? That he wants you to go to heaven and he's directing you there. He's showing you how to get there. Right, right. Amen. He's showing the path that you should take. Come on now. And it's not about where were you 
Job, we had to tell Job, Job, where were you? Amen. When he started putting stuff in there and making stuff, where were you? <laughs> Job wasn't even around. But it was all about God. Can I, can I say something else? Can I talk? Colossians 3, 23 through 24. And whatsoever ye do. Oh, let me, let's wait till they get it. Colossians 3, 23 through 24. Even if you have to write it down. Colossians 23 through 24. Somebody say, I want to make it. I want to make it. I got to make it. I got to make it. Amen. Sometimes the devil don't want you to want the preacher to go through with this. So he'll interfere. But we're going to keep on going. All right now. Amen. What did that say? And whatsoever ye do. Whatsoever ye do. Do it heartily. Who is he talking to? You. Whatsoever ye do. He talking about somebody else now. Well, they didn't do it. I'm talking about you. You can't point. Look. Your children can't come to you and say, well, they was doing it down there, but what did I tell you to do? Amen. That's the Amen. way God is. <laughs> Don't come to God, well, that church is doing so and so, and that church, but what did I tell you to do? Amen. What did I instruct you to do? Come on, come on. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. We ready to whip our kids because they didn't do exactly what you told them to do. Yes. Come on. Am I right about it? Go ahead. Now. But when it come down to serving God, you know, well, so and so doing it over there, you got to sometimes put blinders on, amen. amen, amen. So you won't, amen, get focused on that. Say it. Oh, say y'all better come amen. on with me now. Say it now. Amen. amen. Put your put your put your blinders on. I I'm not act like you don't see that. Come on. Amen. Come on with me now. Amen. And whatsoever you do, do it what heartily, heartily. heartily. With, with all your soul, might, strength. Wholeheartedly, with all your heart, with love. love. I love to do it. I want to do it. I got to do it. Uh huh. Do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Not just to show off. Okay, I'll do it. Come on now. Because I just want to please the preacher. No, you got to do it because you're pleasing God. Right. <laughs> Don't do things because you're pleasing me. Amen. That Amen. You still got to please the preacher, boy. I understand what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> Amen. But you got you pleasing God to please the preacher. You got to please God. Amen. They Amen. both come together. Yes, they do. But you pleasing God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of you want to inherit something from God. You want something from God. Amen. Then look. Follow God's instructions. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's For the only way you're going to get the inheritance, right? Amen. Uh huh. For ye serve the Lord Christ. For ye serve. How many of us serve in Christ? Amen. Are you really serving Amen. God the way God wants you to serve Him? Come on now. Examine yourself. Yes. Are you really? Well, I'm doing some of the things. If you guilty at mm -hmm. one point, the Bible said, you guilty of the whole law of sin. Yes, amen. Just one point. That's straight and narrow, ain't it? Yes, it is. You got, I told you, you got to give up all your sins. You, amen. You got to get rid of everything. You everything. cannot have one spot, Come on now. blemish or wrinkle or, or any, any such, such thing. thing. He said that's the kind of church he's coming after. Yes, Without yes, spot, yes. blemish, wrinkle or any Come such thing. Glory you can't be God. contaminated. Amen. Well, I still got to go back. Get your mind off these other churches. Yes, amen. Amen. It seems like the Holy Ghost, sometimes it's a camouflage. Yes. What it look like, it ain't. All right now, come on. It's easy to shout and dance come and on. run and spit and slobber. It's easy to do all that in church. Don't mean they got Come anything. On. Amen. They don't. That don't mean they following God's instructions. That's right. Amen. Amen. Oh, I didn't just made well, somebody right. angry it's today. Right. Amen. For ye serve yourself. The Lord Christ. The Lord Christ. Hallelujah. It's got to be all about God. Yes. 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 Somebody Amen. say all about God. All about God. Amen. It's got to be. How many of us know it's all God. about God? Amen. It's all about pleasing God. Yes, it is. Amen. Isaiah 19, 
I'm sorry, Isaiah 1, 19 through 20. Amen. These are good scriptures. Yes, amen. Isaiah 19 through 20, and I'm still talking about following God's instructions because it what? Works. It still works. It amen. still works. Yes, and then you got to learn how to be patient. Yes, yes amen. Some, somebody, you know what? They want God to be patient with them, but they don't want to be patient with God. Mm. That ain't fair. No, it's not. That's not, that's not, that's not equal. That's, that's not fair. If you guys waiting on you, how come God, you can't wait on God? Mm. Come on. Come on See? now. Uh, come on. What is that Isaiah 1, 19 through 20? If ye be willing and obedient. Uh-oh. If ye. Talking about you. Be willing. Mm -hmm. That's the word I want to get to. You got to be willing to obey. You got to be willing to follow instruction. I'm going to tell you now, I'm just going to be honest with you. Flesh is not always willing. Amen. Because you are fighting against the flesh. There are times that we can have to fight against our flesh because it does not want to obey. Amen. Amen. The natural man does not want to obey God. Right, that's right. The flesh don't want to obey. Amen. And you fill the pool. To fill the pool, man. Yeah, you're going to fill it. But you need to tell that flesh, loose share. Right. Say to the Lord God, the devil too, talk to him. Say to the Lord God, rebuke you. Flesh, you're not going to have your way today. Amen. Or any time. Come on now. Don't you know that pleasing this flesh will send you to hell? Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Please, it, because on. naturally, this flesh was not made at the first beginning to live as a sinner. Come on. It was not sinful. That Come didn't happen on. until Amen. man sinned Amen. in the garden. And man was cursed. Yes. So when he, when he was born, he was born in sin. Amen. And I said, are you hear me say sometimes that sin is greater than you? Mm -hmm. The flesh, if you don't have the spirit of God in you, you'll yield to it. That's right. You'll yield to the flesh. What Amen. you feel, how you feel, what you feel, what you think. That's part of the flesh. That's right. But if you be willing and obedient, you got to be willing and, and obedient. Because when you, be in, you say, I'm willing to do it, but... <laughs> I'm willing to do it, but you ever heard somebody say that? Come on. Well, I'm willing to do that, but I got to think about it. But it says, if, if ye be willing and obedient, you got to put butt out of the way. Amen. Oh, it's quiet. So if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. That's the only way you're going to get it. So if you be willing and obedient, so both of them has got to be there. Amen. Willing Amen. and obedient and being willing and not being obedient is not going to get you where God That's wants right. you to get. That's right. Amen. So if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Get the butt out of the way. Amen. I'm willing, but I don't know. How many times y'all heard somebody say that? Mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do it, but... Hey, you, you, you want to start, you know, you want to make some money? Yeah, I'm really, I, then you got to do this. You know, it might be a little hard. Well, I'm willing, but that, that sounds like it's too tight for me. It's too tough for me. I got, look, if you were really hungry, <laughs> that's what kind of, that's what kind come of, you on, know, gets on. me. Somebody really hungry and somebody tell them how to get a job where they can get, they don't feel like working. <laughs> well, I'm willing to go to work, but. See? They lazy. Some of them are lazy. Don't want to get up out of the bed. They don't want to get up at a certain time. They don't want to do that. Right. You do whatever thing that right. you need to do, as long as it's not sinful, to make it work for you. Amen, amen. You want to put money in your pocket? Everybody ain't gonna, God ain't going to give everybody a, a mind to give you stuff. Right, right. Come on. Amen. God ain't going to touch everybody's mind to give you stuff. Right. You got to work for you. Amen, on, amen. That's another subject. Well, it's right. It's, it's right. You got to work. Amen. Waiting on somebody to take care of you. You take care of yourself. That's right. 
I don't care if you by yourself. You got to take care of yourself. Yes, you do. Mama ain't supposed to always be taking care of you. And daddy ain't supposed Amen. to be always taking care of you. Come a grown on, man, take care Come of yourself. On. Say that. Say that. Uh -oh. Say that. Say that. How, how did I get there? Well, it's right. It's still right. Amen. But I'm willing to work. Amen. But they told me I had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you want a job, don't hey. you? Come on. You want some money, don't you? Amen. What I got to do? You got to move that tires, those big tires over there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, you want a job? I, I'm willing to work, but uh, get your lazy self up out of that bed and Come do on. what you got to do to feed Amen. your family. Amen. To feed yourself. Self. Amen. Come on Amen. now. Come on. And parents, I got to say this. Stop spoiling your kids. Amen. 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 There's a time you have to say, no, baby, I ain't giving you no more money. See? I ain't giving you nothing. Mm -mm. Well, I don't want them to go out there in the street and start killing nobody. Stop. I understand it. But sometimes because you do it, you spoil them. That's right. And they're depending on you. So every time right. they get in trouble, they call you. Daddy. Uh, uh, uncle. James. Come on. James and Uncle need to say, hey, brother, look. Come on. Sit down. Let's talk. Amen. I've worked for 30 something years. And God blessed me. And I prospered. And if I can do it, you can do it. All right. But you got to, sometimes when young people, especially young people, when they start hanging around other lazy young people, mm -hmm. And they hanging out, you know, hanging out on the steps. Oh, y'all better come on now. Come on now. Hanging out on the steps at nighttime. Hanging out on late hours in the night. You know you got to go to work the next day. You hanging out. And then you get to work late. How did I go on there? Get to work late. And the boss say, you late. Next time you late, you get upset. You the one did it. Right. Go to sleep. Amen. So you can be on time. See? Okay. Follow instructions. <laughs> Come on. Hey, that's what it's about. Come I, on. I cover everything. When God drop hey, it in man, my... It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> lazy folks. I ain't never seen so many young, lazy folks in my life. Always want things easy. It ain't going to always be easy. No, it's not. No, Working ain't always going to be easy. Life. Sometimes it's going to hurt your little Come back on. sometimes. Amen. But you get used to it. Oh, yes, you will. Amen. They got one Amen. of them things you can put on your back to support your back. <laughs> come on. Oh, y'all better come what on you with me now. Do. Amen. They looking for something easy. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Amen. Oh, it's quiet. It's all right. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. But you got to be willing and obedient. Yes, sir. I want a job. I want to live holy, but get that butt out of the way. Amen. 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 Did Amen. we finish that? Hey. No. If ye be willing and obedient, uh -huh. ye shall eat the good of the land. But what? But if ye refuse and rebel, see there? ye shall be devoured with the sword. Yeah. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. God it. has spoken it. When you are refuse and rebel, some bad things, yes, some trouble is. things can come. Yes, it is. And God will allow it. Yes. For the mouth of the Lord, God said it. Yes, amen. Yeah, do with that. that beautiful God, yeah. merciful God, yeah, will yeah. allow the sword to come Amen. down on you. Yes, He will. To to allow Play your troubles him. to overtake Amen. you. Amen. Because of your disobedience. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm trying to help somebody. It's all right. Amen. I hope I'm helping somebody. Come on. Yeah, this is to you. Yeah, yeah, Amen. you right there. That's you. Yeah, right there. No, Amen. you right. Right, right there. I'm talking to you. Come on. Deuteronomy 11, 26 through 28. Yeah. God gave me some pretty good scriptures here. Did you hear me say God? Deuteronomy 11, 26 through 28. Look what he told Israel. God is good. Amen. He's so he. I mean, he's 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 omnipotent. He's just awesome. Yes. 
And he don't want us to fail. Amen. He want us to prosper. That's the kind of God we serve in. You got some people that don't, they don't mind seeing you fail. Amen. They don't care if you fall. They don't care if you're in trouble. Come on. Some of them will laugh because, <laughs> good for him. Your very friends sometimes, the ones that you're hanging with and, and, and running around with, sometimes they'll laugh at you in your face. Amen. Once something bad happens, once you end up in some in trouble, <laughs> look at that fool. They'll call you a fool. Mm -hmm. Who want to have a friend like that? Not me. But I got a friend. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Yes, Lord. And he don't want us to fail. No, he don't. No, he don't. Amen. Somebody say, he won't let you fall. 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 Yeah. Amen. Go ahead, Evangelist. All right, Deuteronomy 11, 26 through 28. Uh -huh. Behold, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Hold it right there. That's what he said to Israel. Amen. And God is saying that today. Mm -hmm. I set before thee blessings and a curse. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to get one or the other. Amen. You're either going to be blessed by me or cursed by me. You're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. Amen, amen. He's that kind of God that will warn you. You got a choice. Come on. You got a choice if you want to stay under me and be blessed. If you don't, you know what's going to happen. Behold, I said before you this day a blessing and a curse. Sometimes we can tell people and instruct people to say, if you don't do it like that, brother, it ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to see for myself. Why you got to always see things for yourself? You might not survive. Amen. Uh-oh. Amen. Trying to see, well, I got to see it for myself. You know, you had to see it at one time. Yeah, I saw it, but God had mercy on me. Some of y'all, God won't have mercy on. All right. I got to see it for myself. I got to see it because, you know, I'm still learning. But why die before your time? Why hurt if you don't have to hurt? Why be cursed if you don't have to be cursed? Amen. Amen. Think about it. What did he say? This is the 27th verse. A blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. How many want to be blessed? Amen. And highly favored. <laughs> People say that I want to be All blessed right. and highly favored. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll tell you, I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Mm. Is that right? But that's the testimony they give, son. Mm -hmm. Thank God I'm blessed and highly favored. According to them, they might be highly favored because where they were, God had took them up higher. So they highly favored in where they were. God had, but God don't have respect to persons. Amen. Uh huh. And a curse if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, mm -hmm. but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. I told you not to go to other gods. That's Wasn't right. they hard headed? Amen, amen, amen. And they suffer, God suffered their, their, the ones that they were suffering the other gods, the ones that they were uh, doing the other gods with, mm -hmm. their enemy. God suffered for their enemies to kill them. Right. The very ones that they gave in to See. that God told you don't. <laughs> Y'all better hear me Come now. Come on. Right. Right. Yes. Don't mess with them. Don't serve their gods. Yes. The same ones that they went to because they went down and they look at how fun, much fun the gods that uh -huh. they were having with. And they decided to serve their God. Let us serve their God. And God allowed them to kill them. The same ones that, don't you know that your same friends will kill you? Oh, yes. Amen. The very one that took you out of God. The very one that, what is that? Convinced you. Mm -hmm. Do it this way, man. I've been doing this for years and ain't nothing happened to the bro. Ain't nothing happened to the bro. Bro still living, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they got that kind of talk out there. You, you, you know what I'm saying, bro? So, hey. Do it, man, because I tell you, it works, man. Then when you get out there and do it, it don't work for you. Because he that know it to do good and do it or not, to him is sin. Amen. And you, amen, you have a better, you have to answer to God more than the other person that don't know. Amen. 
Amen. To whom much is given, much is required. God expect that of you. Yes. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. You can't do it because you see somebody else doing it. Well, you've been coerced to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, after the brother done talked you out of God, talked you out of doing what God told you not to do, then God suffered your enemy not to be at peace with you. Then he end up killing you or he'll blame stuff on you. Some people now in, in jail because their friend mm -hmm. pointed them out. Oh, yes. And it wasn't him. See? God allowed that. Oh, y'all better come up with well. me. Well, if you behind bars 20 years because somebody else pointed at you. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Go ahead. Hebrews 6, mm -hmm. 10 through 15. Did we finish that? Yes, sir. Okay. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, uh, which he have showed toward his name. Is God unrighteous? No, he's not. God is not unrighteous to forget your work. He know what you're going through. He know how you're struggling. He know the problems and the situations that you're going through. He know they tell your obedience, obedience to him. And it has not happened to you yet what God promised. But he hasn't forgotten. God is not unrighteous to forget your work or labor. He ain't going to say, well, pff, forget that. Because if he promised you what he said he's going to give you, he's going to do it. Amen. And I believe in that. And God has brought it to pass in a lot of things. Amen. For if God is not unrighteous, God is not unfair. Amen. God is not unrighteous to forget your works so of labor of love when you're doing it in love and willing to do it. Which you have showed towards his name. I'm doing it because of God. It's all about God. Uh-huh. In that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope. Unto the end. Unto the end. Yes. You don't give up. You don't Amen. stop. Amen. Just like they did it, just like the, the men of God did it back then, and those that were doing it during the time of Paul and, and, the, and the prophets and stuff like that, you can make it to the end too. Amen. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Uh -huh. That you be not slowful. That you be not slowful. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit it, the promises. Uh oh, it says, and be, but followers <laughs> of them who through faith and patience inherit, inherit the, promises. the promises. Amen. Followers of them that are doing those things. Amen. They not doing it, don't follow them. Amen. Oh, y'all better come on, man. You ain't got to do it like that. You know what? You ain't got to do it like that because I got this money, you know, doing it like this. If it's wrong and God didn't tell you. That's right. Come on, come on. And you ain't supposed God didn't instruct you to do that. Don't do it. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swear by himself, mm -hmm. saying, surely blessing, I will bless thee. And multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. I like that last verse. Amen. And so, <laughs> after he had patiently endured, endured. he obtained the promise. That's why I said patience got to come in there. Amen. Well, it's been five years. <laughs> it's been ten years. It's been six. You can't put a time limit on God Amen. unless he say in three days, because there are times right. when God say in three days he's going to do something. Right. It be Amen. done. Yes, he does. But there are some times God would not say how many days right. or how many minutes. Come on. Oh, Y'all better come with well, me. Well, that's right. You just got to trust Amen. God. Amen. 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 Well, I Amen. thought God was going to do it in a couple See. of days. See, you thought it. Uh-huh. You wish, ain't nothing wrong with wishing it <laughs> or wanting it, Come but that on. don't make it God's wish. That's right. Uh, Amen. Amen. I didn't mean to bust your bubble now, but I'm just going to tell you just like it is. 
You can't put a time limit on God. God in three days. Sometimes the, sometime the world will put three days on you. In three right. days, if you don't do this right. by three days, this is what's going to happen. Right. And you get all nervous. Mm -hmm. I understand it. Trust me, been there. I ain't going to tell you you're not going to feel that. Amen. But you know what you can do when you go to God? You say, God, Glory you know what you heard, what the man told Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. Yes, and You know Lord. what they said. They said, I only got three days. But God, you know what? You in control. Yes, amen. <laughs> amen. Hey, because if, so, if it's your will for this to happen, Come it's on. for a reason. Amen. And if not, you know when to do it. Amen. And there's a songwriter that said he may not come when he, when, what? When you want him. When you want him, but when, when he do come, when he's what? Time. Right on he's time. Right on time. Right on time. Amen. And then sometimes that same person that told you, say, if you don't have it in such and such a time, we're going to do so and so. so. And when you, tell, when you get to that time, sometimes they say, you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll give you some more days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's God working on that heart. Yes, yes. For yes. you in your behalf. Yes. Because you're willing to obey. Amen. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained. The promise. Somebody say, it still works. It still works. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> It still works, my brother. Yes, 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 it does. I don't care how hard sometimes we have to struggle through things. If we obey God and wait on God patiently, we know that it still works. Yes. Amen. Waiting on God works. Yes. Not being uh, uh, discombobulated to the point where you start, well, complaining. Right. Got your mouth all poked out towards God. You can't make God do nothing. Mm -mm. How many of us, God made us get saved? Mm-mm. Quiet. I don't have that testimony. Neither do I. Because God wants you, to, wants you to be able to say, <laughs> I was willingly. Yes, amen. Knowing the consequences and knowing where I am at and what's going to happen, I'm willingly gave God my life. I never went and said, you know what? I got saved because, you know, God made me get saved. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh-uh. You, I... <laughs> That ain't my testimony. Amen. I knew. And God started dealing with me. And God started dealing with me. And things that I was doing, God, I knew. I was raised in holy. All day. I knew what. Um, I just knew. Because I was, I was born in, in holiness. Uh, not born in holiness. But I went to a holiness church since I was five years old. Got grown. Thought I'd go out there in the world. Test a few things. Like I said, some people went out there and test a few things and didn't get back. Amen. But God had mercy on me. Thank you, Jesus. And God started dealing with me, brother. I began to start looking at what I was doing. All of a sudden, I, at nighttime, I'll be, I'll be like crying because my inner spirit wasn't happy. You know what I'm saying? As long as I was in the, in the world and doing what they were doing, I didn't feel that kind of. Cool. But then when I got home, we began to relax. God's spirit began to dwell with me. And I began to start tearing. And I, I, I took asking God, I said, God, help me. What should I do? God, help me. What should I do? God, help me. I did that for a little while. But still go back out there in the world. Do better. Still go back out there running with my friends. All over the dance floor and all that. Cursing when I get ready to curse. Come home, that guilt was on me. I would cry, God, what can I do? My inner man didn't want to, knew what was going, you know, what was going to happen. That, 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 that word that was put in, in me knew, brought to my attention what was going to happen. You know, if I didn't get saved. And I was just weary, just weary. So this last time I said, God, tears coming down my face. I, I, I want somebody to listen to something. Tears kind of coming down to my face. And I said, God, what can I do? What should I do? You know what God said to me? You know what to do. He didn't tell me what to do. You know why? Because he knew I knew what to do. It was up to me to do it. I was a sanctified young man in the church, living holy, sanctified. God was blessing me. 
But then I gave my life over to the devil. And now that I was in such a way, it looked like this, this happiness that I was having turned to grief. And I just didn't, I just, uh, it just didn't make me happy when I came away from that. It just did. And God just said, you know what to do. And that made me, I didn't necessarily say what God, what, what do I have to do? I already knew what to do, my brother. I already knew. I already knew how to be saved. I already knew how to come back to God. I already knew how to, to uh, uh, already knew, knew how to uh, pray, get on my knees and ask God to forgive me. I knew, but the flesh didn't, didn't want me to do it. And I was yielding to the flesh mm -hmm. until, instead of the, what, the spirit of God. That was dealing. And God's spirit, the Bible tells me, will not always strive with men. Sometimes God allowed that spirit to strive with you, to put you in order. To let you know that he cares. Come on now. Let you know. But God's spirit will not always strive with man. Do you Amen. hear what I'm saying? Amen. And when you don't yield to the spirit of God, the Bible says he'll mock you. When your trouble comes. Yes, yes, amen. When your, God's spirit will not always strive with man, but he is so merciful. But there come a time that God said enough is enough. Amen. And when you get in trouble that last time and you think God is going to be there, he said, I know you're not. He'll laugh at your calamity. Mm -hmm. He'll laugh at you. Yeah, that's the Bible. Yes, amen, amen. You don't want to wait till you get there where God will turn his head away from you. You want him to receive you. Amen. But you got to be willing to follow God's instructions. Amen, amen. Do we have any more? Yes, Proverbs. What did it say? One, eight through nine. What do that say? My son. My son. Hear the instruction of thy father. Can, can I use this in this manner? My son. We all God's sons and daughters. And God is our what? Father. Amen. My son, hear the instructions of thy father. In other words, God wants you to hear him. Amen. Don't listen to nobody else. See? My son. And you know who's God's son and daughters, don't you? Amen. Those that are serving God. Amen. Those that have given their life to God is their sons and daughters. Mm-hmm. You can't be God's son and, 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 and God's daughter and you ain't living right. That's right. That's right. Amen. God knows what those that are his. Amen. Yes, he does. You yes, know your does. children, don't you? Amen. Ain't nobody going to come up to your house, amen, and start sitting at your table and you ain't seen them before. <laughs> you go, who are you? Well, I'm a friend of a friend mm -mm. of a friend of a friend. Well, I'm sorry, baby, but, you know, I'm, you know. You probably, you probably yeah, you need go. to go. You know, where's your daddy at? No. <laughs> Amen. Amen. My son, hear the instructions of the father and what? And forsake not the law of thy mother. Uh-huh. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head. If you and obey. And forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament. What I'm instructing you to do. Mm-hmm. Amen. It's going to be a benefit for you. Yes. Amen. For they shall be an amen. ornament of what? Of grace unto thy head. And what? And chains about thy neck. Ain't that something? Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> You're going to amen. be blessed. An ornament of grace. Who don't want God's grace? Amen. Who don't want the beauty of God around about their neck? Amen. The blessings of God. Oh, glory. Falling on them. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Proverbs 3, 6 through 8. Proverbs 3, 6 through 8. Go ahead. Amen. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Proverbs 5 through 8. Proverbs 3, 5, five through, through 8. 5 through 8. Amen. Trust Pro in the... Go ahead. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust, and he trust in the Lord with what? All thine heart. I want to put emphasis on that. Amen. You can't give God half of your heart. That's right. 
You can't halfway serve God. Amen. You got to give God your all in all. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all that heart. Give him everything you got. Amen. Uh-huh. And lean not unto thine own understanding. Did you hear that? This is what I understand that God want me to do. You better ask. For, you better ask. Amen. God, is this the path you want me to take? Come on now. In all thy ways, what? In Amen. all thy ways, acknowledge him. What? And he shall direct thy paths. Talk to him. Amen. Talk to God. Yes. But do you really want to hear what God got to say? Come on. Woo. Amen. I had somebody to come to me one day. for some instructions. And I was trying to tell him what they needed to do or what they should do or what they can do. And the f after I finished saying what I had to say, he said, see that? That's why I don't like telling you nothing. Because you're not going to always agree with me. So I'm going to do it my way anyway. That, that was bold, wasn't it? <laughs> I looked at him. And in my, with myself, then why you come to me then if you know you're going to do it your way anyway? Why do you go to God if you're going to do things what you want to do anyway? Right. You're going to God for instructions. So what happened? As far as I know, they're still living. And I don't know what's, what's going on with them now, but eventually I didn't see them no more. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, when you neglect God and God's preachers and teachers and you know they're trying to teach you right, <laughs> I don't care what this flesh, I'm going to do. See, this thought up here, yes. how you want to do it is not always the way God wants you to do it. Amen. And the preacher and the teacher ain't going to always agree what you think in your mind that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. I, I know I'm telling the truth. Amen. Well, that's why I don't like going to her. That's why I don't like going to him because, see, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so. Why? Because they tell you the truth. See? Uh -oh. see? They right. trying to keep you out of trouble. They trying to keep you in God. They trying to keep you on straight street. Where you could be blessed in better, that God can bless you better, but because it's fighting against the flesh and your own thoughts. So you got to be careful about that. Amen. Your own thoughts. Amen. Well, I was thinking, and I feel, see, I feel get a lot of people in trouble. Yes, I feel. Put that feel in the garbage. Put it away. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like praising God. I feel like serving God. Amen. I feel like obeying Amen. God. Amen. Amen. That's what you should be saying. I Amen. feel like. Is that all right? Amen. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not what? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Can you read that again? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Can you say that one more time? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Don't be wise in your don't be wise in your own eyes. It's all about what I see. And it ain't got to be literally your eyes, but what you see in your head. Mm -hmm. Or what you understand in your mind. Yes, amen. The way I see it. Mm -hmm. The way I see it. See, you got to put the way I see it sometimes out of the way. That's right. How do God see it? Amen. Uh oh, and sometimes it could be some good things, but God don't want you to do it. But the way I see it, God, God sometimes says, "But the way I see it, if you stay on that path, even if it's right, it'll sway you from the path that I want you on." Amen. I got to talk to somebody. It's all right. Be not wise in your own eyes. Well, I ain't no fool. You know what? I I I got an education. And I got a degree. That don't make you obey God. That's right. Because you got a little wisdom, a little earthly wisdom, and God has blessed you with a little, you know, you got a little earthly wisdom because you study and look and things like that. 
But what about God's wisdom? Do you have the wisdom of God? Go ahead. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Fear the Lord and depart. Be not wise in our own eyes, but fear the Lord and depart from evil. Go ahead. It shall be health to thy navel. And what? And marrow to thy bones. And marrow. You're going to be blessed. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're going to be healthy. And we're just talking about God bless this people even naturally. Israel. Amen. Naturally. They were some blessed people. Amen. They, you, 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 you didn't hear about them being sick. Because God would bless them. Amen. Oh, y'all better come over here. Amen. Me come on. They were a blessed nation. Amen. God fed them. They, they had stuff. They, God just blessed them. It was an overflow as long as God blessed them. Amen. But he told them, if you disobey me, then I'll curse you. Then I would do this. Sickness and stuff came upon them and boils and stuff came upon mm -hmm, them when they disobeyed mm -hmm, God. Mm -hmm. Sickness came. Amen. Because they disobeyed God. Right. Ain't that something? They were healthy as long as they was obeying God. Well, how come I ain't healthy? Are you doing right? But don't mean God cursed you. Amen. It's just a natural thing that we as humans going to suffer affliction. Amen. Amen. That's right. We're going to suffer sickness. Amen. Some of us going to be healthy. Some people are healthy all their life. Mm -hmm. Died healthy. But God knows what to do. God is still healing too. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is still healing. Yes, God's, he is. People are still laying hands on the sick and they're still being healed and delivered. Come to think of it, one of the sisters, Sister LeBron, I believe it was, daughter, baby daughter, what didn't you say was her baby daughter? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't ask her what the problem was, but she wanted me to pray for that daughter. Mm -hmm. I put my hands on and prayed for her. Got the message about two, about last week or two weeks mm -hmm. ago. She said, God has delivered her, her daughter. Right. Amen. God healed Amen. her daughter. Amen. God is still healing. Yes, yes. God Amen. is still delivering. Yes. God Amen. is still setting free. Oh, yes. Sometimes people will call and say, you know what? I'm glad you brought that word. Yes. Amen. I was depressed, but now I'm, God has blessed me. Amen. Amen. Because they took it and they received it. Amen. They obeyed the instructions. Hallelujah. Is that all? Amen. Okay. I think it's Philipp Philippians mm -hmm. 2.14. I'm almost through. It's all right. Go ahead. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. Didn't I say that? You ain't got to, <laughs> you ain't got to throw a fit. Amen. Do all things without murmuring and disputing. Uh -huh. That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, mm -hmm. among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Don't you know what you're going through? Come on. And what you're feeling and what the devil is trying to do? If you obey God. Yes. You ain't doing it in vain. Come on now. Because even before Amen. that, we read the scripture that said, God does not forget your works of labor. Amen. Amen. In love, you're laboring in Come God. You're going to feel the pressure. You're going to yes. feel the press sometimes. Amen. You're going to feel down sometimes. Sometimes you're going to feel up. Sometimes you're going to cry. Sometimes, amen, you're going to be discombobulated. But amen. don't give up on God. Amen. Follow his instruction. Yes. Ye shall live. Amen. And not die to declare what? The works of the Lord. That God bless me. Amen. 
I, I, I like giving that testimony. Oh, Thanks. Yes. You know, I waited on God. I Hallelujah. was going through, and this was happening, and that was happening. But I waited on God, and Jesus. God touched me. Hallelujah. God blessed me. Yes. Says I don't have any more problems with Come such and such and such and such. Amen. Yeah, that's because you had patience in God. Amen. You believed in God, and amen. God came through for All you. All right now. Amen. Amen. Come on. Songwriter said, weeping may endure for a night. Oh, yes. But joy! Come on now. <laughs> Come on, it's coming. Amen. It's coming in the morning. Amen, amen. It's coming. Somebody say, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. Yes, it is. Just, do what, just do what you were told. Amen. Hallelujah. Follow God's amen. instruction. That's all you got to do. Amen. Amen. Even if it don't make sense. I'm talking about God now. I ain't talking about following the God of this world. Right. That's two different gods. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. It's the God of this world. Amen. Follow God's instruction and watch God bless you. I'm telling you, I'm not just saying this. Holy God, holy God. God got something good for you, but you got to follow his instructions. All right. Give God a victory hand praise. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you one more time that you allowed me to bring forth this word to encourage someone or somebody not to give up on you, God. Oh, God, that they'll be willing to follow your instructions because you will never mislead them. You'll never misguide them, God, but you'll lead them down the path of righteousness for your namesake, oh, God, that they might be blessed as only they can be blessed in you, oh God. Oh God, we ask that you touch everyone that is that is on this line, this on this this streaming God, in the name of Jesus. Bless right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, you are very present help in the time of trouble. Those that need to be saved, you can save God. You can deliver. Oh God, them that want to be blessed and highly favored of you, oh God. They got to follow instructions, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Touch right now. Heal right now, God. Deliver right now. Save right now. In the name of Jesus. You know how to make the crooked roll straight and the rough roll smooth. But sometimes, God, we have to follow your instructions, oh God, until we get to that smooth path, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, give us more patience. More patience to wait on you, oh God. Even if the flesh gets anxious, oh God, give us more patience to wait on you, God. Because that that will come, shall come, and it will not tarry. We believe it, and we receive it, and we pass it on. In Jesus' name, bless the sick, the shut-in, the lame, the blind. Bless right now. Them that have heart troubles, oh God, bless right now. Oh God, you know how to do it. You know what to do. Bless those, those, those legs, those, those knees, oh God, those feet, God, in the name of Jesus. He, oh God, deliver because you're still a healer. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to give you all the glory, all the, glory. all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Give God a victory hand praise.